Um, so I've got two fishing villages now. Um, so I will pick up an oracle, I guess. I may just remodel it later on, but... I'm going to use this for... So I could not skip this shuffle, but these cards suck, so let's do it. Alright, so this is excellent. Um, we're going to be able to... I'm going to play the Oracle because I want to get rid of this cut purse anyways. And these are fine for... Well, I guess I can shoot for a hobble, but I'm going to keep these. Or get rid of these, I mean. Hmm. What could I draw? I could draw the hovel. I could draw... I'm not going to trash the hovel anyway. I'm going to put these back. I want to hit five, not six. I'm going to get rid of those. All right. So that was not good to draw, but the rest is fine. <clears throat> so... I think I'm going to take a butcher. <laughs> I love when you have a question and then <laughs> they... <laughs> they yell at you in the chat because oh. of course the decision is not really very hard but um. <laughs> so I can use both the tokens here yeah let's do that Yeah, 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 I know. I know everybody. I, I realized it, okay? I got the five. I put them back. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Uh, I I have a pretty good lead here at this point. Um, he is trashing a lot here, but he's about... Yeah, he's he's behind. He's had some bad bad draws. Um, it's always easy to account for your wins by saying you played well when really there's some other considerations. He has more governors than me, though. Um, I'm going to be remodeling pretty aggressively here um, because he's not going to be able to take advantage of that very well. Um, <clears throat> so I'll probably... You know, I don't know what the forge is going to do for me now, but. <laughs> okay, so I can gain a golden draw it and butcher something um, silver's not so great for him should have played the butcher first instead of gaining that gold now that was a definitely a mistake um.
I'm gonna try and get the governor instead of the gold and I did so that was nice um, <clears throat> I can forge these away for nothing which is an option um, the I'm probably gonna get rid of the forge with a butcher eventually but it's there for governor um, I mean for opponents governor as well so the option here is to remodel this into a three or to trash everything so I'm going to remodel it I think um, actually I'm gonna get rid of this copper Yeah, so these, this kind of board where you can gain and remodel stuff and play it again on the same turn, is, they're very hard to do perfectly. You have to like plan it out like Celestial Chameleon or something. And I hate doing that. It is the worst. So I usually just try and think of something reasonable and just do it. Um, I don't know if what I did last turn was the best absolute thing I could have done. I drew, I overdrew my deck a little bit. The last governor play wasn't perfect. Um, I don't see the stonemason. I forgot it was there. I've never seen the stonemason, ever. I, I pretty regularly forget about half of the kingdom once I start playing games. Um, so, if you want to watch a person who remembers every kingdom card the whole game, you should not watch this stream. Well, you guys are right. The stonemason would have been useful. Good, 
could have hit golds for more fives and stuff. There's a lot of good stuff to do with it. He may catch me because I forgot to do that. So we'll see. So he's greening. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many provinces I can get this turn. Quite a few. Um, my plan is to just pick up more governors and wait till a turn I can do it all at once. Um, so I, I'm not gonna. He can't three pile me, so he's not gonna gain. I mean. Probably he gets it down to five, and then I can empty it in one turn. Um, so I'm not going to go for it yet, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I want those. He can keep those, I guess. All right, so we're going to draw here. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm going to butcher this silver into a 5. Um, probably a... Um, the other option would be to like butcher it into a stonemason. And then butcher golds. But I kind of want to keep the golds for now. Um, so... I will probably overpay for like a stables and a butcher here at some point. <laughs> I didn't do it though, Steph. Sorry. Um, I think I can get them anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. So, I'm going to draw here. Um, Steph cries. <clears throat> you know, I could have done the stonemason thing, gain stonemason, trash golds, and whatever. But I think I have the pieces necessary to win the game at this point. Um, so I'm not super worried. <laughs> I've got a butcher I mean I've got I just got a lot I have like seven six, seven governors or something
And if he goes for provinces, that's just helping me. I can get five provinces. Unless I draw dead, which is possible. We'll see what this oracle does for me. Um, yeah, so the question is whether I can get more from governors. or I'll just I'll take the sure thing with the stables. All right. So I just need like one more gold or something. I don't know. I don't need much. Let me think about that. <clears throat> so there's a gold here is all. Um, I'm going to get five. I don't have enough action, so I'm. <clears throat> I can't play all the butchers, so I'm gonna have to butcher one of the butchers. But I have coins to spare for two five conversions. Actually, I pick up an extra one because of forge. Um. So let's think about how we can get five provinces here. Um. <clears throat> if I if I do one gold. And then I butcher a butcher, that's two. I butcher a forge, that's three. I butcher a governor. So three butchers, a governor, and I don't know. So there's surely a way. I've got a gold here. I can play three terminals. I'm going to pick up one coin from the forge. Remodeling. Um, the other option is to... Well, I have to play these. Um, so I'll have two golds here, right? Uh, so with the fishing... Okay, I think that's... This is pretty funny. Um, Maybe he'll trash his forge into a province and make it easier for me.
Okay, so I was able to get my deck under control much quicker than him. He didn't hit five a lot. Um, if that had game had been close, closer, I would have had to consider my governor choices a little more carefully, probably, but. <sighs> didn't turn up, so hopefully he'll play again. <clears throat> Pokes playing cool. So, um, yeah. This is a colony board. Um. You want just as many labs as you can get and as many king's courts and then see what happens from there. Um, Saboteur <clears throat> is pretty brutal with king's courts, so if you can get enough, you can smash their deck to pieces. So we'll see what happens. You, you could try to get a death card to get a king's court, but that seems pretty... Uh, I might do it actually. Um, the The way to fight Saboteur is to print a bunch of like Platina with Mint, and then it just you can just change your Platina into good stuff that you want. Um, <clears throat> so the question is if you can get there and and make your deck full of high value cards then the saboteur doesn't hurt you so much you just convert it um <clears throat> so i want a wishing well but there's no um <clears throat> there's no good way to get to seven here excepting money or death cart and so the question is whether it's worth it to get a death cart to try and get up to seven. Um, or whether it's better just to play it straight and get a bunch of labs. Um, I think I'm going to go with the silver, mainly just because I hate death cart. So this is really good. If I draw a copper, wish a copper, and get it, then... I can mint so this is nice <clears throat> and now I might think about a death card actually um, but I probably won't I'm trying not to look at the chat now because the delay is not long enough that I can't I sometimes see things that are relevant to the game in the chat so I'm not looking at it anymore um, I was just to, for the fun of it, but now I've stopped, so. Um, you're really, your next thing you want is a butcher, but I'm not sure if you want death card or silver here, or another wishing well. Hmm. I'm a really bad wisher. Unless it's obvious. Um... I think I'd like to avoid the silvers if at all possible. And get a butcher. Um, so I've got an estate, a copper, and a silver left. Nope. Oh, I don't even have enough money anymore to buy a butcher. What am I thinking? Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to buy a silver at some point, aren't I? Or a death card. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> okay. So, I would like to try the death card, actually. 
Let's get a silver though. This is going to end up badly. I suspect. I'm not going to play it. I should, but I'm going to. <clears throat> okay, so I can certainly draw whatever my other ruins was, a village, with these wishing wells. And then I can get a, a king's court or a butcher or whatever I want. I'll probably get a king's court now. Um... <clears throat> His deck is coming along pretty well too, though. Although it's not as thin as mine at all. I think with the number of wishing wells I have, I'll just go with the king's court. He is getting out on the labs a bit. I wouldn't mind seeing him by like a saboteur. I would be relatively okay with that. I would be completely okay with that actually. I think he should just get a lab. I mean, he wants to build up to his own mint turn eventually. Um, oh, he has. He, I guess he's thinking about King's Court. Yeah, that's possible. I like lab though. Um, so, what did I have last time? I had a wire too. Yeah. So there's a mint in here, and a a state, and the uh, something else. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have triggered that shuffle, should I have? I was wrong. I should have failed the first wish and gotten the second wish because I don't want to shuffle out my king's court, but that's okay. It means I have a mint sitting here that I don't really want. I had good death cart luck though. And I'm almost certainly going to be able to king's court a, a wishing well. So I will take a butcher now. Um, I would like to get a lab. I don't know if I have. I don't have a copper. I'll just leave the king's court there. And pick up another wishing well. Um, I could king the butcher and get, but I'm not going to. So he's going to buy his mint now, probably, but maybe not. Uh, I guess I've got as many wishing wells as anything else. And they're certainly the best thing. Um, and now I've got more coppers left, I guess. There's still more wishing wells. Sure, why not? <coughs> Alright, that was good. So now copper's got to be the most plentiful. So what's left? A silver and a copper? Hey, trekking your deck, it's not so hard, I guess, when you do it, when you think about it. Um, butcher, one, two, three, four, five, six. Butcher this death cart into a lab. Honestly, though, I 
I could probably have gotten another butcher and just gone on the back of wishing wells for a draw. Wouldn't have been that weird. <clears throat> the other choice, of course, was just to toss the the death card for money, just trash it and buy something instead. So I'm not sure that what I did was reasonable. I could have trashed a silver for a lab instead and then tossed the um, death card on its own just to get the money for the king's court. But uh, So he's going to go for the saboteur. I am going to do my darndest to get up to platina and just defend myself that way. Um, I don't really know what to wish for. I guess wishing well. Alright. So that's good. Let's just keep drawing. still have more wishing wells left than anything <clears throat> and still it's as much as anything else okay so I would like to butcher something into a butcher and then butcher again. Um, and also mint a silver as well. So, And draw them all. And I should be able to do that. So, I need the estate. So let's butcher this silver. to a butcher mint the silver play a lab I have had pretty above average wishing well luck so far. And also miraculously I've been able to remember what was in my deck. So that was nice. I guess he's going to king a saboteur here. I don't know if I can outrace the saboteurs or not. Um, it's kind of hard to say. I could have, I, I could have gotten a Saboteur last turn, um, and maybe that's worth it for me. I don't think he has quite as many silvers as I do. I don't know what he's going to king if he's going to king his butcher or his saboteur um, I wonder if there's a market on top nope um, <coughs> excuse me I glanced down to the bottom of the chat. Steph says, these kinds of sets are not McHugh's best. So, apparently I suck at these sets. 
Um, probably not suck. Probably suck is a little strong. <clears throat> That's okay. I think I'm, I've played it reasonably, although certainly not optimally. These are not my favorite sets to play because they take a long time to play, um, even if they last like 10 turns or something. They just, they go around, they go, they, the decisions, people take their time and I don't know. Call me old fashioned, I, I like a, a good game of uh, put a junker on the board and no trashing, let's just hit each other for a few turns and then try and buy some green. I'm, I'm for those. <clears throat> so I guess I'd like to get to another King's Court would be the best thing. So I'll wish for those until my wishing wells are gone. I didn't watch his, what my savage, okay I just won cards. So. Um... <clears throat> do have three king's courts so they're still in there. I don't know how many wishing wells I have left. Some number. Oh no. Alright. That was bad. So I can do it I can do something with this map now. I am still interested in keeping the silvers around just as defense against saboteur. Although you, the case could be made for minting them. <clears throat> I should have a king's court in here somewhere. has a couple labs left still so I think my the state of my deck is going to be changing <laughs> pretty rapidly with the saboteurs that it's going to be hard to guess what I can do on my next turn <laughs> so I'm not gonna think about it yet but we do seem to be approaching a three pile possibly um, one thing to keep in mind is that people can pretty rapidly run out these ruins with four death cart I mean you can butcher things into those really easily into death carts really easily and drop the pile just like that so if he's not paying a little bit of attention to that that, that might be an option at some point um. <clears throat> Once the king's courts are gone, I will look for that. And if he doesn't, how many tokens does he have? Um, <clears throat> none now. So he's going to try and 
make a bunch of platina with his mint, which is what I kind of wanted to do eventually. But I don't know if I'm ever going to get there. I don't know if he has another King's Court. What did I get right now? He doesn't have another King's Court. But he's still playing them, of course. So we'll see if he mints the Platinum or plays the Saboteur. And he's still holding another laboratory. Unless he's butchered it. I can't. I'm going to quit talking about what's in his deck because I just don't know. Um... So there go my wishing wells. So I would have been much happier if those had been silvers. <clears throat> but what can you do? So we'll see what he if he mints. Does he not have his mint anymore? I don't know. He must not. So yeah he got my king's court whatever we'll try for a king's court anyway all right we got one okay so he hit two wishing wells um for a nope all right hopefully i well i'm going to get some actions Okay, so let's look and see if we can end it this turn, because <clears throat> it's not crazy. Um, fortunately, it's not crazy, because otherwise I'm probably screwed. So I can turn one estate, couple silvers, into ruins. The The problem here is trying to get the... Um, two kinks courts... So, I can, my last card, one of them, did he, Saboteur or Butcher? How many Butchers are there? Was that my Butcher or his? Okay, so I only have one Butcher. Um... <clears throat> I can butcher play this butcher three times, gaining a butcher, another king's court, and probably a death card. And then I can draw everything and king the butcher again. King the new butcher for more death carts and hopefully buy the last king's court. I think that works. So let's give it a go. Um, I don't think I counted this right. Um, whatever I suggested. We'll find out. <clears throat> 
Maybe I'll get enough buys. <clears throat> Um. Oh wait, yeah, that works. All right, and there's a death cart here. Cool. It worked. That's surprising. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Death Card. It's a horrible card that lets you pile quickly. I hate it. No, it's pretty cool. Um, Um, so maybe that'll win me some admiration in the chat. So, yeah, okay. I read the chat. I, I wanted to see the, the, the chat reaction. That's why I haven't started a new game. Um, This is a player who I lose to, like, every time I play them. They're not rated. I mean, they're they're good player, um, but they're not. I just, I just have a horrible record against them, I think. We could check with a, Mol a Malloy's new thing. Um, the uh he op see like this is the thing he just opened silk road okay um that's insane <laughs> I, it's just crazy to me but i'm probably going to lose <laughs> Like, is he going to try trade routes immediately? I mean, you'd think, like, Counts Room Big Money could just beat whatever he's going to, anything he's going to do at this point. I have no idea what he's, what he's, his idea is here. Um, so, <clears throat> 
I kind of wish I had 3-4 instead of 4-3. Um, Hermit is kind of counter Seahag a bit, though. Maybe not. Um, you probably want to her you want hermits here to try and get up to using council rooms to buy a couple things a turn whatever those things happen to be um, so I don't I don't know the Silk Road opening I I have no idea <clears throat> what it's supposed to do I don't know I think you can probably skip Sea Hag here though so. I don't know if I want to... I'll do Hermit Hermit. We can get a <clears throat> Madman once we're sick of him. So yeah, like, he's gone for a trade route thing already. It doesn't... I should open Sea Hag, but whatever. Like, this... I feel like somehow I'm going to lose. I sound like Adam H right now. Um... <laughs> The uh, I could add the Sea Hag now, um, though I believe he can just put in hermits, and I think I'll just try money stuff and see how it goes. You could imagine getting the Great Halls as defense from a Silk Road thing eventually. Um, but I don't believe in the Silk Roads really all that strongly here. Although, well, they're pretty good. But not yet, anyway. Though certainly at some point. <clears throat> See, he's not going to have any money. So the question is whether I should start contesting Great Halls as a denial right now. Um, or whether I should <clears throat> just go on my way and buy a thousand provinces, you know. All right, so this is, if I lose this game, guys, I'll never play Dominion again, okay? I will never play Dominion again if I lose this game, and you can all hold me to it. So, I think he won't even be able to buy Silk Roads, basically. Um, is my is my main issue with the strategy. <clears throat> That he'll have so much green that he'll he just won't be able to buy anything. He'll buy silk road here, two silk roads. Okay, now he went for problems. It would be nice to not draw the hermits, but I probably will. Um, 
he just plays trade route, so we'll go for duchies. My silk roads are pretty good now too because of harems. Um, if he doesn't get the silk road here, I'll just take Great Hall Silk Road and not play the council room. But Alright, so I feel better now about this game at this stage. <laughs> but at the same time, it could go south. We'll just work on piling out the duchy or the states now. I would say my odds of losing this are like zero now. Well, they were zero probably after his opening, but okay. I don't, I don't think I played that great, um, but I don't know what you. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't want to like be a huge jerk, but that was horrible, horrible, awful strategy by my opponent. All right, so we've got a game here against Polk. Um, maybe he won't let me three pile on him this time. Uh, there's a tournament will look very relevant here. You could imagine building a big ol' engine with Squire for actions and Envoy. Um, I don't think there's much payoff for getting universities because the embassy just isn't that worth it here I think having universities wouldn't be the worst thing in the world but probably not worth picking up a potion for um, but we will find out because my opponent is going for it so uh, I think the light trashing of lookout is actually worth it here and only the light trashing from counterfeit is worth it so, um, I'm going to look to build a little more here. Squire and Envoy are not the ideal cards you want for your village draw deck. Mainly the Squire. Envoy's fine. But, we'll see how it works. I 
I am going to open with the lookout actually. I'm not opening silver here because I just don't want gold and I don't really want the fives that badly. I want one five, I want one counterfeit, but I'm going to get that here, so. <clears throat> and this is a fine hand to have miss the shuffle. Um, yes, we can, we can, and if my lookout ever finds a squire, I can get a pirate ship or a spy. One thing that is sort of nice to do is to get a quick province with Embassy. Embassy is okay. You can search a lot of cards here. Um, but if your deck is kind of big, I'm not sure you'll line up your village with your draw card. So I'm going to take a counter, another counterfeit. This is the part where lookouts are already getting a little bit crappier, maybe, than they would be normally. Um, I can get up to three, four, five, six, seven here, um, or I can stay at six. Squire Envoy is a possibility. <clears throat> I don't really want the silvers all that much. So, might as well get rid of it. I'm going to have a million buys and nothing to buy. I'll take a tournament here. Uh, one gold will be uh, good for getting a province eventually. But let's see, what can I do here? One, two, three, four, five. I can get I can get up to seven. I don't really need seven. And since Polk is giving me silvers, I'll be able to get my tournament eventually. <clears throat> I think we'll find out. He could hit eight here, actually, pretty easily. We'll see if he takes it. Yep. So... My squires are not, I've got an envoy in here, and I don't think I have a squire, so that's not great. But maybe I'll draw him with tournament. Has he shuffled? He hasn't shuffled yet, so I'll get to play my, well, not necessarily. My tournaments could get blocked, which would not be good. But that's life. Whatever he's done has worked out very well, or fairly well so far, so. Apparently university wasn't quite so bad as I was talking it up to be. Certainly it would have helped my deck quite a lot if my envoy had showed up sooner in this shuffle. Um, but that happens. I don't think you want any more universities. I think that's too many. Um, now let's just really pray he doesn't have... Nope. Yeah. See, this is the... This is the real problem. I should have played that envoy, but I got flustered. <laughs> <clears throat> well, maybe not. So he's probably... No, he's not going to get it. Okay. He doesn't have a lot of money either. Okay. 
we'll see if he lines up his tournament next shuffle. I would have, well, he probably wouldn't have played it if he was going to trigger a reshuffle, but <clears throat> that would have been the best thing for me. Let's see what we get. He's probably, if he gives me a tournament, he probably has the province in hand. Um, I'm going to play it just because I need to buy a province and this isn't that much many cards anyways. Um. <clears throat> there's got to be, there's a counterfeit and an envoy and a lookout and an estate. I don't know what else. Um. I guess I have three tournaments, so there's a tournament in there too. I don't want a silver. I can get up to 10. I can get up to 11. But that doesn't really help me versus 10. So there's, the question now is whether I really do want the province just yet or whether I should build more. Um, but I don't know. All right, so this tournament didn't hit province this time. <clears throat> the lookouts are getting increasingly risky for me, although... If I hit a squire, I can get a spy. I'm not opposed to that at all. So whether I want to do a spy or a silver is... Um, I think I'll take the spy. Why not? Hopefully he doesn't block me, though probably he will. Nope. Okay. That makes me feel better about this one, this turn at least. I whiffed on my province, although this hand has to have tournament province in it. Um, if I don't play this tournament, and so I won't, <laughs> I want the trusty steed and the followers and the princess. I will take the trusty steed first. Um, but we'll see if I get one or not. He doesn't have a province in this hand and he played his two turn. Well, he has more tournaments than that. But All right, so I'm done with that. So I can get rid of this counterfeit now. Other counterfeit if I really want to. Um, they're not doing a great deal for me, although I will need money. I'll have to put money back in the deck at some point. Either with silvers from Squire or silvers from Trusty Seed or silvers or buying gold or something. Um, but I don't really want to do that right now, so... Really what I want is probably another envoy. And a, if I can get to six, that would be good. So let's try that. Yeah, let's just get to six. And take envoy and squire. There is a risk of uh, three piles pretty soon but not yet <clears throat> he might line up his stuff here he probably won't be able to draw his prize 
Although he might, if he has an envoy. I can get rid of the province. The question is, um, he could draw it back, potentially. I'm going to dump the province, but <clears throat> he is going to draw a lot of his deck this turn. If he wants to. Which he should. He should probably use his universities to get a spy. It's not bad. Although he... Embassy's okay too. He has a real uh, advantage over me in the um, race to get... in the three pile thing because of his universities I mean this turn in fact it would not have surprised me if he had been pretty close to being able to three pile um, but pretty soon he will be right right there so because he has an embassy in hand he's probably going to activate his uh, tournament Because I gave him two envoys as well. And I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know what he's going to take. He won't be able... Well, unless he has another embassy. He is pretty well ahead of me right now um, which makes me think his university was a good decision my deck is pretty crappy uh, which is another game in the case of squire is a horrible village because it is so let this be a lesson to you squire is a terrible village I may have made some misplays along the way as well. That seems very likely. <clears throat> so I'll just dump a couple squires. If he doesn't have a province in hand, I might be able to get something going on this next turn. But otherwise, he is in a good position to three pile pretty soon. And say Princess would be pretty instrumental in making that happen for him. And the counterfeits. <sighs> and the universities, of course. I mean, if he draws his deck again next turn, I fully expect him to be able to three pile. Yay. All right. So something's going to happen this turn at least. My lookout has not done great work for me. Which is, you know, another game in the case of lookout just sucks in general. <coughs> I'll play it now, why not? Alright, I lose a spy. I should have... Well, what did I discard, Squires? Uh, I don't know. How do I win this game? That's a question the streamers like to ask themselves. Um, I'm not sure that I there is a way. <clears throat> you 
he's going to have a points lead from the... Maybe I should get an embassy. That could be interesting. It's possible I had a turn where I bought province that I should have built more on that turn. <clears throat> Squire's a horrible village. These estates are killing me. If I had trashed a couple of estates with Lookout, that would have helped considerably. <clears throat> My commentary is getting increasingly <laughs> tautological. Uh, this is a horrible, horrible envoy choice. Um, he has a, about a million universities in his deck, so he probably has another village anyway. Uh, but if he doesn't, then I guess I can take away the draw. I don't know if that's right. But... I hope he can three pile soon. All right, what do you do? Sorry, I was reading chat. Okay, let's see if he blocks me here. Okay, well, this is not a. This is a just an awful, awful, awful reshuffle. Just awful. But we're gonna do it because what else can I do? He'd probably get rid of the envoy. That would be the right thing to get rid of. Not just from the perspective of the fact that I know what my hand is, but just in general. Um. <clears throat> I don't know that playing the lookout's going to get me a lot but I'm going to do it anyways because I may actually take a silver here just because I'm running out of money um, okay hand we'll see what he does if he's got some of his draw cards in here with it then he might just three pile now um, I wouldn't resign this one as someone suggested in the chat because it's not quite that hopeless he has enough 
non-drawing cards in his deck that he could have dead turns. So it's not worth it to resign just yet. <clears throat> but, you know, it could happen soon. I at least will block provinces here, or tournaments here, which is nice. So, I mean, I'm going to get rid of one of the villages, but he's going to draw more anyways. Surely he has more draw cards. It's uh, not great. What did he discard with his embassy? An envoy? That's kind of promising, except it probably just means he had five envoys in hand. Um, we'll just try the university. He's probably got plenty of actions. It's not obvious to me what the best thing to pick there is, but uh, I probably messed it up. My view of this is that if he buys another province, I'm pretty well sunk anyway. So I'm um, I'm probably going to have to get both of these provinces to win and end the game. So maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. He's going to have hands full of just junk, too. I mean, both of our decks are a pretty long way from being super clean. He'll probably deny tournament here. I will be able to afford a province, though, so that's cool. What did he deny, Silver? I don't know. <clears throat> so... <laughs> Most of two does equal two. Um, I will reveal this. I don't know... Well, I guess I absolutely take a duchy. We'll just see what his turn's like. <clears throat> of the draw cards, I'm glad he had Embassy. His hand's going to be like just back to five here. I did not take a diadem. They are now discussing that in the chat.
<laughs> although apparently it was only one dollar short of an auto win um if mar if markov markov i don't know how to pronounce it is right i would have of course squired for actions in that case <clears throat> The good thing now is he can't three pile really very easily. I don't think. Maybe he's going to go for it. Oh. Okay. Maybe he can three pile. So if he's got his princess or his more universities, he can almost certainly get the points off the duchy. Or, you know, maybe he can just die dim for money. I don't know. And buy the last province. I... If he forgot the the one dollar from the squire when he was counting, and I had sixteen from from the diadem, I will be forever ashamed. That would have been a really cool way to win. Uh, we'll have to check the log. That would have been a really really cool way to win, though, if I could have done it with the diadem. All right, let's look at the log. Okay, so <clears throat> all right, so I played a trusty steed and then. Um, play this envoy. So I had one money from the tournament and still one action left. So Squire would have given me three actions, which makes the diadem worth what? Like, what does diadem start as? I don't even know. Is it silver plus? Silver plus actions. So Squire would have given me three actions or two actions. So the the diadem was four, so that would have been eight from the diadem. Anyways, I think the diadem was worth four, so that would have been eight and nine, ten counterfeit tournament squire would have been. 11, two silvers at 15. So I didn't have an auto win. <laughs> so. Uh, and sorry, Polk, that I. Uh, I was looking at the chat. Or I was looking at the log. So sorry I didn't respond in the game chat to your. Uh, questions yeah so okay well that's good it was only fifteen dollars not sixteen so that would have been quite an interesting game or quite an interesting way to end the game and steal another one from Polk Polk however it's pronounced That was fast, maybe our quickest rejoin yet without a person playing again. Uh, Baker board, but there are no really, really special fives to get.
yeah, this is not a exciting board, but it's okay. Hagler is going to be really, really good. Buying provinces and getting labs or golds. Buying golds and getting labs is awesome. Uh, and some bakers, sure. Maybe a couple bakers just to s smooth your money, but not a lot. And you'd take a peddler if you had to. But So the question is, what do I want to pair with my haggler? Do I want to get a silver or do I want to put sage with it? Um, and I'm inclined... Oh yeah, there's also embassy tunnel. Um, but I actually don't like that as much as the haggler lab thing. So we'll try the haggler lab thing. Maybe embassy tunnel is better, but you can open embassy tunnel, which is pretty awesome. So that's something to think about. But it's not... I think you'll get longevity from the haggler thing. I just don't know if you want a silver or a sage. One thing that is bad is if you hit your haggler and you don't get up to five with the haggler hand there aren't great targets at four and you don't really want to take the coppers so that's the worst thing about hagglers not getting to five that should only happen maybe once in the game you would hope um, but if you get up to five then you're fine you just take a sage or a silver with your your five and if I draw my haggler well probably at any point now when I draw my haggler I'm not gonna have that problem. <clears throat> and six is the best thing because gold is very good here. So this first shuffle was ideal for me. Um, the question is now whether I want a second haggler or not. Um, I don't think so. And I prefer labs to bakers at this point. <clears throat> and again, this is perfect. I'll take a baker here. Because actually by this next shuffle I can green. Honestly, if I hit 8 with a Haggler, I'll buy a province, no question. But not with just, well I can't do it anyways. So here I'm going to hit province gold <clears throat> and just save baker tokens for pushing me up by one. Baker is a good card, but people buy too many bakers sometimes and forget that it's still just, you know, one coin. I mean, you can't sustain a deck off of bakers usually unless the game's really long. And this game is not going to be very long. Um he is he is in a good position too though. So his he seems to have had good good shuffles as well. So it's going to be a close game I think. And he does have a lot of uh coin tokens, so there might We'll find out. Maybe the baker is worse than just, uh, or maybe the baker is better than what I did with the labs. We'll find out. Both people could easily just province out the rest of the game. Um, I like my odds a little better if we go into duchy dancing, although that could be wrong. I think I have more golds than him.
So he should... Okay, so he's going to go for the province. Um, you could think about an embassy here, but probably not. Actually, that's just bad. <clears throat> if he gets a province and I get a province, I will take the tie here. So I think he should go for it. But anyway, so that's how a game can last 11 turns by good haggler luck. So this is, you know, just blazing fast for both of us. I mean, we both had exceptional luck. I, I maybe should have gone for the duchy. I had a little bit of a better deck, but he is going to... He's not going to have too many problems getting to 8 e either. So um, I wasn't really tracking his deck or his shuffles to see where he was. He might have been coming up on some bad, bad shuffles, but I took the tie because why not? Alright, so another game with Shimizu. Shimizu? I don't know. Um, and it looks potentially complex. Um, so we've got shelters already and native village for draw or for vi more actions. You've got all the pieces to draw your deck here. Um, there's some question of what do you do once you've drawn your deck here. There's not a whole lot of things to do. Um, Horde is pretty good, maybe, at some point. Mm. So, Rabble could, could slow down the person who greens too quickly. Um, I'm not really sure on the opening though. Um, I mean, I want a young witch, but I'm not sure what to pair it with. Maybe native village. You do want to buy some fives eventually, so I think I'll take a silver. I'm going to take a second Young Witch, uh, just because I really want to curse the heck out of them. And then I'm going to buy, I'm going to overpay here for two native villages. Um, I guess you could overpay for a million stonemasons and try and block every curse but that seems a little unlikely that's an okay thing to set aside
you could try and activate market squares at some time point, but I hate market square. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so he blocks one of my young witches, which is not ideal. Shanty Town is a possibility here, though you probably are going to get stuck with it with terminals. So I think I'm just going to take more native villages. My hope to buy a 5 is with picking up the mat eventually. Alright, I got a curse in. Um, I will take a shanty town. I could get a feast, actually. That wouldn't be the worst. It wouldn't be the best, but it wouldn't be the worst. Alright, this is excellent. He's played both of his young witches when I have this bang. So, of course, they're showing right back up here soon, but something. I just want to get rid of the copper. So I think you almost certainly want libraries before rabbles, but we'll find out. I'm going to draw through this anyway, so I'm going to pick up the mat this turn. Hopefully he buys province, that would be the best thing for me, for him to buy. I'll play one of these first. Alright, so he's going to block here. but I still didn't get to 5. I don't know if he's trashed at all with stonemason, maybe once, um, but I think at some point I'm just going to be pretty far ahead in the size of the decks. Um, yeah, now I'm not so sure, because the rabble can junk you up with the number of curses we have. But the library seems like it'll be pretty darn good draw. I'm going to take one library. D 
this this is certainly a board to keep an eye out for three pile endings pretty from a long ways away just because of stonemason freaking stonemason the worst um, <laughs> so here I either want to trash the shanty town for two native villages or the copper um, but I will eventually in theory I can use the native villages like islands with young witch discards and stuff but that's a long ways away if ever so wishful dr thinking the other option here would be if I knew what my last card was to trash this overgrown estate and go for it whatever that is but it's probably not useful so I'll just get rid of the copper <clears throat> the shanty towns are actually working out very 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 nicely for me so far that's not so nice but so I'm glad I picked the shanty towns up. All right, so that was a very, very good turn for me. Um, I could potentially overpay, get two rivals and a native village. And that sounds pretty good. Since... I've had good Bane luck as well. But my deck is significantly thinner than his now. So I can draw here, so I'm going to pick this shanty town back up and trash the hovel for coppers. which seems not the best thing, but I was hoping to hit a rabble, so it worked out. I don't really want another gold right this in. I guess I can play the Young Witch first anyway. Um... This deck is drawing way better than I thought it would. Like it's almost stupid how well this is drawing right now. Um, I don't know how many cards I discarded, like a couple. We'll find out. That wasn't the greatest shuffle in the world to activate, but it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, so at this point, if I lose, then I've done something horribly wrong. So let's try and not do that. I don't want to overpay anymore. Alright, so the curses are gone, native villages are gone, and these can go. 
or the stonemasons. And I have a five point lead, which is a lot of cushion. I'll I will look for stonemasoning young witches into stonemasons and ending it. I shouldn't have to do too much to make that happen actually. The other th idea would be stonemason a gold for rabbles and overpay. But that would take quite a bit of money. Which if I draw my deck I can do, but if not. So I don't know what happened to my opponent. He was thinking, or he has a bad, just checking to see if my internet's still working. Um, so my I've not lost connection, but my opponent is either away from keyboard or thinking or something. Or maybe Goko's lagging. The, uh, the best thing you should assume whenever your opponent is not playing is just that Goko has screwed up. So he's making my three pile a little easier. Um, now we should probably look and see what we can do right now. Probably going to have to draw more. Okay. I just have, I need more stonemasons in my hand. <clears throat> or maybe I don't. Let's look. Stonemason and gold for two rabbles. Then I just need seven dollars and two buys. Which I have six and two buys. Uh, so we're not there yet. I don't know that I'm going to get down. I can. Uh, it's going to be hard to draw again with library without discarding a lot of stuff and then you're just going to end up just drawing that stuff back most likely anyways I don't need this and I probably don't need this and I probably want the buy oh good I drew it back uh, Okay, now I have it. And probably I had it before, but... Alright, so we can stonemason this gold for two rabbles. Stonemason this library for a native village. Alright. I, there's probably many ways to three pile and I probably missed one but I was in a position where it was going to be very hard for me to lose that game and and I think it was mainly just 
I didn't watch his buys close enough to say whether he made any mis mistakes, but I did block a lot of the curses and got trashed down very quickly. on top um <laughs> well I can't buy anything with two so I'll just pass this uh shoot this is a really weak board but about the best thing you can do I don't think there's I don't think there's any way to get much mileage out of uh, Horn of Plenty you could gain a lot of markets with it that's not the best thing in the world um, the Poth carry doesn't look awful the board is quite a vacuum so the idea with the apothecary thing would be to get to a point where you're buying I mean you want to kind of get to $12 and then just buy a province and an island every turn uh, would be ideal I don't know if you'll get there all that quickly so I'll I'll try the apothecary thing. Um, <clears throat> probably with a doctor possibly at some point. I can't really buy that I mean Buying the doctor there doesn't seem so good to me, so. <clears throat> if they go pirate ship, coppers are easy to replace, so. <laughs> you don't have to worry about your deck getting messed up by pirate ship. <laughs> Unless you're worried about your potion. So he's trashed pretty well. He's down to six cards already. I don't know what his he's gonna do next but I'm gonna get a doctor here I'm trying to avoid silver as much as possible and then on my first five I'll probably go ahead and take the market although potentially just keep buying apothecaries for a while So, I think still one more apothecary. Your ideal thing is to get to seven, you know, and potion and buy market apothecary. You really don't even need that many markets, but maybe a second potion would have been good. Would be good. Oh, we whiff. I'm going to buy nothing. <clears throat> 